Hi everyone, thanks for coming back. Uh, apologies I've not uploaded for the last few days. It's been a bit of a hectic week with um, a few things going on and uh, poorliness and whatever else. So I'm catching up. I've been catching up this whole weekend. Um, you'll notice that my jumper changes throughout about halfway through the video. Uh, this at the minute I'm doing was yesterday, Saturday. And I was just catching up from that day that I spent at my sister's. Uh, we had the hot drink and the cake, and that was the voucher that I um, that I got sent. Um, I use the app, so I don't actually use the voucher. So I stuck it in and wrote a little note. Um, this one I'm going to come back to. I just wrote a pencil note there, so I remember what I need to put on that day. Uh, and I'm going to do this um, day 12, which was my son's nativity. And I did check this to make sure there was no sort of information on there about his school and for the children and things so uh, originally I was going to stick it up here like a little top a little flip up and I was going to put his image there but I had a better idea sort of halfway through so this is where I decided to cover the whole page and have it as a big flip out and because that pocket there has a window I add the image into uh, onto a another sort of note card, um, so he peeks through that little window there. Uh, this is obviously going too quick for you to see, but I'm using old paper distress ink uh, just to go around the edges. Oh, my son brought us a chocolate off the tree. My sister was sitting opposite me, and he brought us a chocolate off the tree. So I'm going to have to use that in my journal, and you'll see what I do with that a little bit later in the video. And of course, I've got to eat it first. <laughs> So I hope you're all doing alright and you've had a good week and you're all geared up ready for Christmas. Um, I certainly am, I've managed to get everything done in anticipation for the kids now being off. Uh, my son's got two days left at school, my daughter's there till Friday. Uh, oh, you'll see here where I've taken the numbers off, I've broken the number two, um, but it's fine, I'm going to add it back on and you can't tell the difference, now it's on the page again. Um, I, in hindsight, I think next year I'll have the numbers already cut out. I do these on my Cricut machine. Um, I'll have the numbers cut out, but I probably won't stick them in because it can be a bit of a hindrance. Um, I think there's been a few occasions where I've taken the numbers off because I've wanted to use the full page, um, which is not a major issue, but it is a little bit annoying. It would be easier if obviously they weren't stuck down. So. Note for future self. <laughs> and here they are, already stuck onto the thingy. I did have a bit of a palaver trying to stick this down at the Fabri-Tac. I'm literally at the bottom of my Fabri-Tac, so it can be a little bit of a pain getting it out of the tube. So I'm gonna glue this on to that page and make a little flip out. This is a die cut that I have. I don't remember what brand the die is from. It's just sort of float about, floating about in my little die cut um, tub. Um, I bought this last year for my Christmas cards that I made. I did like a watercolour background, like a night sky scene, and I had these just sitting over the top and it looked really nice and effective. Um, so here I'm fishing out something to put behind this image. I didn't decide, I didn't use the bit that I just got out. I actually decided to use this book page, which is a nativity scene. There's like Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus there. So I thought that was a bit like rather fitting. Of course, I've got a pause to have a cup of tea <laughs> halfway through. Um, and this, this bit really is just me faffing around with the sizing of this. I think I cut a lot of this out because it's just me trimming this down. And I'm gonna back that onto a bit of lined paper so I can write on the back. And I'm gonna stick uh, my son on the front there. I don't mind covering this king up because you can still see Mary and Joseph and the little baby Jesus. So I ran this through my sewing machine. You can see on the back here, it's gone really bobbly and it just looks awful, but 
Um, I've been making something the last few days as well. I've been making, I like to do a handmade gift uh, for the kids. And this year I've made movie night cushions. So I've just made cushion covers basically with some pockets in. Um, so of course my sewing machine was set to make those. I use like a sheep's fur, sheepskin, um, fabric that I found in Hobbycraft to my daughter so I had to really mess around with the tension on the sewing machine so clearly <laughs> I didn't test it for paper before doing this but you know I don't I don't really mind so you can see my son just peeks through that little pocket there and that tab at the top I'm going to do the cushion I'll write on that in a bit you'll see me do that in a little while uh, I'm going to write on there about doing my cushions this page I've adjusted again um, you can see the sort of circular this disc here I took off because originally on the 13th we were going to have a movie night, me and the kids, um, but we didn't end up doing that and so I just kind of put in here about it being Christmas jumper day instead. So I'm going to add this uh, sort of velour velvet trim but first I am yet again going to take the numbers off the page uh, because I picked this napkin up. We went to a quiz night, a Christmas quiz night which is why we didn't end up doing the movie night um, at a local village hall and I took this napkin from the, um, from the hall. So I thought I'd put it in there. I didn't get a copy of the quiz, which I probably should have done because it was actually a friend of mine that wrote the quiz and I had that little envelope there. So I might come back to that. I might see if she's still got it and I'll probably add it into that envelope before the end of December. So I've just spread out some glue, which is the red glue I call it, and it is tacky glue. Um, and I've just spread it out and I'm going to stick the napkin on top and then add the numbers back in with that same glue. You can see here, especially on this number one, that I've not cut round it very well where it's taken some of the paper up. But I was that fed up of cutting, all, <laughs> cutting around these little numbers. I just thought, no, stick it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually look that bad now. I think a lot of that is the white glue sort of gooping out from behind it. So here is that velvety trim and I'm just going to use it to line that just because I like it. And I just wanted to add it in somewhere. And I think it ties these two bits in nicely. There we go. And then I'm going to trim it off around the edges and that'll be that done. I'm not sure why I've just skipped back to number 12. Oh, here we go. I'm going to do the, there's the two cushions that I made. I'm just going to kind of document here uh, what I did and why I made them and what they are. So cue super fast writing. Um, I've just done my little spiel about the movie night cushions and I'm going to add some washi tape. I love adding washi tape to images just like this that can otherwise look a bit flat just to give them some dimension. It almost looks like the tape is holding the images on um, and it just makes them like, pop a little bit. Um, so this is one of my little, little tricks that I like to do. So I'm going to get the writing done for this page and I'm just documenting Christmas Jumper Day and that we went to the quiz at the village hall. No, we didn't win at the quiz. Um, we didn't come last, so that's okay. That's okay in my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm just going to add this clip. I always put bells or something on my clips before adding them in just to hold that uh, little pamphlet closed. Here is a photo of my mum, my sister and I, and I'm going to back this onto some music paper just to give that page a bit of interest before sticking it down. Um, this wasn't from that day, this is a, an image that I took on our hot chocolate night, um, but it's just, it's just a nice image of all three of us together. This day I'm documenting about my mum's health 
Um, and my mum's been given um, a clean bill of health again, uh, which is wonderful. We were a bit nervous uh, on this day, so I decided to emboss this little present next to the image because I really feel that the like the, the best gift you could you could ask for at Christmas time is health. Um, and for my mum's health to be okay, it genuinely is, you know, a, a, a gift. So I thought this was fitting for this page. And I'm going to emboss that with the gold uh, embossing powder, and it just gives that a nice shine. And it looks really nice against this image. Just had a little play around with that to get it in the right position and I really like how that's turned out and I'm just going to add a little bit of washi down the side just to make sure that edge doesn't come up when I'm turning the pages I love that washi I don't know what brand it is I found it it was in a random like dump bin at a, a, a craft shop nearby um, yeah, and I, I just grabbed it because I loved it I'm probably going to have to go and get some more before Christmas time is over. Um, as I said, the 11th was a very stressful day. I was at work that day and when I got the news that mum's okay, I was very relieved and I had all sorts of emotions going on. So I literally sat at my work desk and I wrote this little piece um, about how I just felt at that time. So I'm just adding it into this sort of vellum pocket that I did previously. Um, this is one of the printables from Johanna and I printed it onto vellum, sewed it down the sides to make it into a little pocket and it just works nicely with this spread to put that little note in and I clip it on, I don't actually use that clip, I'm going to use another just normal gold clip with a bell on doing a bit of writing here just how I'm feeling at that time obviously I've done a bit of writing for that day uh, but that was in the moment this is like my sort of overview of the day um, and here is that little chocolate wrapper that my son bought in I'm just following the um, sort of lines where the chocolate was inside the wrapper just to cut it to size and I'm going to stick it on just a bit over I shouldn't have stuck it I thought I'd use this little bit that was sticking off I shouldn't have done that because you can actually see the line through the wrapper I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's not that noticeable, but in hindsight, I shouldn't have stuck it there, but I did. Um, and I just wrote on the back, um, just to say that Finn had bought this in while we were doing our junk journals. So we had a cheeky little chocolate off the tree, um, and then I'm going to washi tape it onto the back of that envelope. So apologies that there are a few things going on just outside of the frame. I mean, you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing, um, but there are a few bits that are not quite in shot. Um, and this is, it's just that delicate balance of having it close enough for you to see and far enough that you can um, see that the whole spread. Um, yeah, and I was obviously conscious that I was trying to catch up and keep an eye on the, the shot and all the rest of it. So yeah, apologies, forgive me. <laughs> um, this is a picture we spent the day crafting yesterday as I said we were catching up on our junk journals so this is a picture of the table this wasn't the table yesterday I didn't take a picture yesterday this is a picture that I took previously when my sister came over for a crafting sesh um, so I just printed it as a background image and I've stuck it there uh, the, the image that you see on the left my son drew is actually uh, a picture of escape granny that's what he says it is uh, but to me it looks like Rudolph so it's going to be Rudolph for the sake of my junk journal <laughs> and I'm just gonna stick it on the edge here I think you'll agree it looks more like Rudolph than escape granny if you know what escape granny is um, I don't I don't like him watching it and I try and curb it as much as I can but obviously he knows what it is and he likes anything that he shouldn't like standard um, I'm using this little oval label to write that 
for all intents and purposes, it's going to be Rudolph. <laughs> it's going in my journal. So there we go, and that completes that spread. Um, apart from the label at the top right on the little craft um, crafty picture. Oh, and I'll show my I turned it round to my sister how it turned out because I thought it looked really cute. Um, this little label here that I'm about to stick in, I wrote this out three times. <laughs> For whatever reason, I just couldn't get it to work, but I think that looks nice there. It just stands out on that page to explain what that image is. So that's me. The little finger gestures there is me saying to my sister that needed something on there, and I will come back to that a bit later on. Um, but it just looked too plain, but I didn't really have anything to write or any more images to add in because it literally just was a day of catching up in our journal. So um, again, I will go back to that, like I say, later. Um, that real super speeded up uh, little segment was me cutting out all the images I'd printed, mine and my sister's images, um, and then I'm going to have a play around with them for this spread to see how it's going to work out. This is today. Now I liked this little closure that I did here with this doily, but it didn't work for today. Um, so I just cut it off. I will use it for something else, um, but yeah, it just I just didn't want it in today. So as a bit of a background image, I'm using this music paper. I didn't ink the edges or anything. I didn't feel it necessary for this one. So I'm just adding it in as a little pop of uh, pattern behind these images. And I'm going to use some washi down the side because where I'd cut that doily off, it looked a bit jagged and it just didn't look very nice and I think this washi just brings it together and it complements that image as well in my mind. So again I'm off um, off the shot here but I'm trying to have my sort of working space in the camera but then obviously when I, I reach up to put something in the journal sometimes it's out of shot but I do try and bring the journal down like now when I'm actually doing something a bit more than just placing something on. Does that make sense? Um, I hope so. So again, I'm just writing here about uh, today and the fact that we've been catching up in our journals. That fabric that you see, uh, which is like a little flap that covers there, um, I actually printed that. I found that image on Pinterest. Uh, I've got some just, I don't even know what fabric it is. I got it for binding the pages and, and things into some journals and uh, yeah, it's just like a real sort of thin off-white coloured fabric and I printed that just in my regular printer. Um, which I can show you if you'd like to know how I did that. So again my little washi trick just to add those little bits in there, just as little snippets just to, I don't know what to do, I just like the way it looks. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, yeah, I just added those over those images to give them a little something extra. And I added this little hand because that is the little tree that my son made. We got these little felt trees from Tiger. Uh, they were three pounds each and then I bought some little tinsel trim, some light trim and my sister bought some old bracelets over so we used some of the beads from them just to decorate our trees. Now I stamped Handmade with Love uh, straight on into my journal and it kind of went over one of the images and just I think because obviously there's a lot going on uh, behind the pages uh, so they're not smooth so it didn't stamp very well. So I'm just heat embossing this onto a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to cut it out, stick it over where I tried to stamp. So you'll see in a minute where the stamping was done. There you go. It just looks a bit of a mess. So I did it on a separate piece, like I say, and I'm just going to stick it in and it looks just as nice. So I'm just having a little flip through my pages uh, because I've been working over a few days. I'm just having a little flip through to see if I'm missing anything, if I want to add anything. I love going back through my journals. I think I said it in a previous video. I will keep going back to pages and adding and embellishing as I see fit. Uh, just, just because, because it's a process and I don't think any page is truly complete until December daily is over. Um, and I'm having a little flip forward as well, just to see the days that are coming up, see what I've got to work with. Um, so I'm very excited because obviously all the fun days are coming up, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year. I'm very excited. <laughs> so I'll come back to that envelope here. I'm pretty sure I stuck this in upside down. Well, 
I don't think there's any right or wrong way really, but I think it looks upside down. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I've done there is I've just held it up behind the uh, flap of the envelope and I've drawn around it really, like really roughly. And I'm just cutting it out and I'm going to stick it on there. And again, this is a little bit out of frame, but I do pull it down so you do get to see what it looks like uh, when it's stuck on. And I'm just going to glue that on. Uh, and again, as I said, I might go back later in a few days. I might add something to it. I might pick up a little um, bit of ephemera or whatever as, as the weeks go on. So I might end up coming back and filling in some of that brown space. So here you see what that looks like. And I really like the colour of this uh, in comparison to the other colours in the spread. I think it just works really nicely. Um, and again, having a little flip through, through uh, to see what I need to do. So as I said before, this page has been annoying me for a little while. Did I say that? I don't know. I've done this voiceover several times. Um, this page has been annoying me for a little while. I added that little snippet at the top left, uh, but it was a bit... Mm, it didn't quite do the job. I like the snippet and I will use it, but I didn't like it where it was. So I got this fabric the other day when I was in town. I got it from John Lewis. Uh, they've reduced their Christmas fabrics, just so you know. Um, and I am going to use that as like a little tab because it's Christmas trees and I like to go a bit Christmas tree heavy on my Christmas tree thread. Um, and I've sewn it, I've run it through my machine with some red thread and a zigzag stitch and I'm going to add it, I'm going to glue it in at the top here in place of that little snippet and it looks much, much better. Obviously when you're sticking in tabs and things like this after you've put your journal together, uh, I found this last year, you have to be mindful of what's on the back of your page and where you're sticking it. Obviously here I've got a pocket, so I'm sticking the glue right on the edge um, just so I can I make sure that I can still pull that uh, journaling card in and out of that pocket easily. Um, so it's just something to think about if you're when you're doing your junk journals um, that you need to be careful what, what you're doing on the back. Like, um, I like to, if I've got like washi or something that hangs over the edge, uh, sometimes I like to just fold it over onto the next page. Um, but again, sometimes that's not always practical because it will ruin what you've got on the previous page. I thought about cutting this down because it slightly overlaps um, one of the images, but I thought I'd quit while I'm ahead because I'll probably make a mess of it because it's already stuck down. And I bought my snippets box out there because I thought that tab needed something on it because it's so big. And I settled on this little red button. And I'm just running some red thread through it just to look like, again, make it look like it's sewn on um, onto that little tab. Which I could have sewn it on if I'd have thought about it beforehand, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'm going to fabric tack it on there. And I'll leave some of the stitching, some of the thread sort of poking out the back just to make it look a little bit quirky. And that completes that spread for me, and I'm much happier. So that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching. I will see you then. Bye, guys.